Hi, today's video topic is Iori. If you are an importer, exporter, consignor or consignee of goods, or are otherwise involved in goods coming from or destined to a country outside the European Union, you are dealing with an Iori number. Practice has shown that there is a lot of ignorance about the use of the Iori number. What is an Iori number? On July 1, 2009, European legislation came into force which allows custom authorities efficiently and effectively to identify economic operations involved in the international trade and transport. That means to serve the purpose of the Economic Operations Registration and Identification Number. The EORI number is a unique number that is assigned to an economic operator and is valid through the EU. It is possible to apply the EORI number to customs or other designated authorities in the country of establishment of the economic operator. In any case, the number consists of a country code followed by a unique code. In Poland, the EORI number consists of the country code PL and the fiscal number. Who ought to have an EORI number? European Customs legislation prescribes that economic operators should have an EORI number. In this connection, an economic operator is a legal entity engaged in activities that cause it to be directly or indirectly involved to customs. No EORI number is assigned to private individuals and to branches, secondary establishment, that are not independent legal entities. In performing their activities, branches and secondary establishments must use the EORI number of the mother company. Economic operators are obliged to use the number of all customs transactions and activities in the EU if an identification number is requested. This applies to applications for customs authoriz authorization, the AEO status, and to fill in all customs declarations. Things often go wrong with the latter in particular. The failure to state a mandatory EORI number will then be regardless as an incorrect declaration and may be subject to a penalty up to €2,500. An important factor in international trade is the handling of all kinds of customs inspection formalities. Custom uses various methods to carry out supervision, including the physical inspection of the goods. In order to do this properly, customs is dependent on the information obtained. If any data are missing, it will be more likely for a consignment to be a subject to an inspection. The consequences of this could be additional administrative acts, delays and possibly additional costs. The EURI number ensures better information resulting in parties suffering less nuisance. So, it is very important to share an EURI number with other parties in the chain.